Good morning, Americans. <clears throat> this is your uh, favorite alien on Friday, June 10th, 2022. With a special commentary on what caused your destruction and the end of human society. And there's one word that caused it. Absolutism. Let me explain that word for you. You Americans, no matter what you do, use absolutes. And that's not the way to run a society. E equals MC squared is not absolute. Okay? And you're finding that out. Your physicists and your scientists are finding that out, that that is not an absolute thing. And that's not degradating Mr. Einstein. <clears throat> he was a great guy for his time. So was Mr. Hawking for his time. You don't have one in the 21st century yet. But you'll find one in the 21st century that'll take their place. Hey, you had Newton and Edmund Halley before them. So you'll find your Einstein and Hawking for the 21st century. Remember, all through your history and your civilizations, you have found that there's no such thing as absolute. <clears throat> the world is flat. Well, absolutely, he said yes. And you found out the world is round. Is the world hollow? <laughs> is the moon hollow? Is there a space station in the moon? Well, that's something you haven't found out yet, have you? But it does ring like a bell, doesn't it? Bing, 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 bing. Uh, yeah, you did find out that it does ring. <laughs> does that ring hollow? Absolutely, you can't say one way or the other. Is there a supreme being? Absolutely. Can't say that. Will Jesus Christ return? Absolutely. You definitely can't say that. <clears throat> in the case in point, let me tell you about a stupid thing that they were doing here at Sterling Court, and because of your absolutism, it went out of whack. How many of you are Bible thumpers? Oh, there's a lot of you, isn't there? And that's not the meaning religion for me, okay? I believe in faith. Religion? No, because religion is a man-made thing. It was a man-made thing in my society, too. But we still have our faith. It's a supreme being coming. There's millions of not only humanoids, but other races that'll tell you yes, and billions that'll tell you no. Who's right? Nobody knows, and nobody cares, because they'll say when he comes, or if he doesn't come, it'll prove us. It might not be us, it might be our descendants, or their descendants, or the descendants of their descendants, and so on. That's the way we proceed. But here at Sterling Court, they tried what they call Bible theory, uh, trivia. Oh, boy. It's a messy thing to get involved in. And they don't understand why. Uh, there was this one question. I don't know what it was, but it caused a ruckus. Because I guess the guy didn't like the fact that he was an absolute Protestant Lutheran Christian, and that was all he thought. There's nothing else but that. Jesus Christ is it, and nobody can tell me anything else. You got that in other religions, too. There's absolutism in, Mos in Islam. There's Mos absolutism in, uh, is, uh, in uh, Hinduism, Taoism. You name the religion, you got it. And look at last night. You had your uh, so-called investigation on the January 6th uh, uprising in the Capitol. And you had Miss Cheney over there talking. A Republican. And she is the one that makes the most sense of everybody. Republicans or Democrats that's talking about this thing. Is Donald Trump guilty? Yes. 
He's been guilty ever since he became president because he has got his own way of doing things, and whether it doesn't work his way, then he tries to make it to work his way. That is not a true presidency. That is not a true leader. And that is not a true person that you want to go behind. Are the Democrats guilty? Oh, you betcha. Because they were like the Inquisition of the Spanish in the 16th century, in the 14th and 13th, where thereafter, we got to get Donald Trump, put him on a stake and burn him. Uh, yeah, that's the Democrats' version of it. But one statement that Miss Miss Cheney made, Lynn Cheney, I was going to say Lone Cheney, but that's what the Demo the Republicans view her as, Mister Lone Cheney. Oh boy, sorry, Miss Cheney, but that's the way they look at you over there at the Republican Party. <coughs> but one statement that she made correct that you humans, especially the Americans, should take to heart: history will judge you, Republicans and Democrats, for that matter. A hundred years from now. They'll be saying, gosh, and there's going to be a piper to play on this, and it's not going to be just Trump alone. It's going to be the people that actually get elected and the people who voted for him who are dumb enough to elect them with his views. There shouldn't be a Trump view. There shouldn't be a Green Deal view. There shouldn't be a Democratic view or a Republican view. There should be a human view. We are a little speck in this ocean called the universe. And our speck is called the human race. And we got to do whatever it takes to keep us going within the neighborhood that we live in and alive as a race. But you haven't got to that point yet, have you? What are you going to do, Americans? Absolutism. It's, per it's pervasive in your politics. It's pervasive in your religion. It's pervasive in the way you think. It's pervasive all over the place. It took my uh, race two and a half centuries to get rid of absolutism. Do we still have it? Oh, yeah. We still got a 2% uh, or so dissent with people who have the old values of our old ancestors. Do we stomp them to the ground? Do we put them in the stake and say, we burn them up? Yoo-hoo! a la Mr. Bruno back in 1600 for saying that, uh, hey, you know, those planets could have people in them. Uh, yeah, well, the Catholic Church went, yeah. How about your Protestant Church? You call everybody heretics, along with the Catholics, and along with the Muslims who say, the dumb believers, you infidels. Uh, yeah. And I'm not demigrating faith. I'm demigrating religion because that's what's causing all your problems to the most part, and your political systems, which you treat the same way as you do your religious systems, your economic systems, which you treat the same way as you do the religious and economic systems. See what I mean? Everything is absolute. You cannot be absolute. Is gas worth four, uh, 84 a gallon? Is gas worth 60 cents a gallon? No, gas is worth zero. Is a steak worth $17? No. Is a steak worth $9? No. A steak is worth zero. You get my point, humans? No, because you got watermelons on your brains. So when are you going to get my point? This is your favorite alien saying, absolutism is going to destroy your society and race. It's destroying the Americans. They don't realize it. They got watermelons for brains. Good day.